All right, welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. So yeah, how dustless is the Planex? Now, if you've been watching my videos, you might already know this, but if this is the first time clicking on some of these videos or you're just interested in the Planex, you might be surprised at how dust-free the Planex 2 is. Quick disclaimer, the, they did send me this um, Planex, so I did actually receive a free tool from Best Tool, but this isn't like an actual paid thing. So if there's any bias, Maybe that's it, but um, the, the proof is gonna be in the pudding here. All right, so here's the wall. If you can see behind me, yeah, we got a skim coat going on here. It was kind of a thick one, so we got these tool lines. So normally, if I was sanding this by hand, I mean, this place would be a dust cloud and there would be so much sand at the bottom of the wall. So right now we can see everything's clean other than the little blobs of mud I dropped the other day. Um, oh, and if you're wondering about the floor, guys, I've been getting this a lot. People are like, does nobody protect floors anymore? Um, these floors are being replaced, so. That's why they're not protected. All right, anyways, let's get to it. So right here I have 180 grit on this pad. This is like a lightweight finish mud, so it's pretty soft. And um, I'm gonna get this set up and we're gonna sand this and see how dust free it really is. Okay, so the suction on the tool is gonna to be important here. So it's got a picture, it's upside down. It's hard for you guys to see, but there's a little house. So there it shows the ceiling because you're supposed to use more suction on the vacuum for walls, arrow pointing to the wall. You wanna use less suction. So I'm going for less suction so it doesn't scratch or gouge as much, um, but it's also not gonna have quite the same dust collection as it does on high. Say if you're doing like a popcorn ceiling and you don't want any dust, then you crank that right up to high. It's amazing. If you watched one of my past videos, you can see how good it is. Anyways, I've been talking about this a while. We should just actually start sanding so you can see. All right, full, um, full suction here right now and um, dust collection, I don't know, words. I'm done talking, let's do this. Okay, you guys, I actually stopped filming for a second and that was because I had a pad on here that um, was modified from like the old Planex to try and make this so that it doesn't actually leave any any little marks when finished sanding really soft muds. But um, yeah, what I was finding is it wasn't as dust free as this tool actually is. So um, I'm gonna start again. You can see we have this little bit of dust here. I'm gonna vacuum it up and we're gonna try this again without that little pad. That was my error and I shouldn't have been testing it out today. All right, I'm gonna start down and work my way up. A little bit cramped in here. Take a look at that floor. I mean, for starters, I haven't been wearing a mask. How's the old nostril check? Do I look like I've been hanging out in the nightclubs? No. <laughs> it's a good way to know. You never know. Does that drywaller have drywall dust in his nose or something else? 
But no, look at this. Like occasionally when I would lift the tool off of the wall or when the um, auto clean would like start knocking, that kind of reduces the suction for a second. So it pulls off the wall a tiny bit and you get like a little poof. But overall, there's nothing. Like look at that. You know, we're in a finished space here, right? Like I'm in a customer's finished space. And this tool is good enough to vacuum all of this without having to do any dust protection. Like that's crazy to me. So yeah, I mean it does a really good job. There's not a lot of dust on the wall either. So when I go to skim this, um, I'm not getting so much dry material going into my like wet skimming mud to, it's gonna dry it out as much. It's not gonna mess around with the adhesion as much. You know, just overall like we are looking good and ready for a skim coat. So yeah, that's the Festool Planex 2. You know, it's an incredibly dust-free sanding system. So um, whether you think this post is sponsored or not, I like using it because of how dust-free it is and how fast. I mean, I gotta say, it was also like really fast for me to sand that all out. Like, I never got it done that quickly or that dust-free by hand before. Anyways, I'm flogging a dead horse at this point. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. If you got something out of this video, you know, feel free to leave a comment, feather that like button. Um, and, you know, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It's not going to hurt. So, thanks for watching. Till the next video, you guys.